Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video is a little bit of a special announcement along with a quick demonstration. The announcement is that I finally have a template pack that is available in the Luminar uh, marketplace on Skyloom.com. I'll show you that. And then of course, the demo part of this video is showing the templates in action on some of my photos. Here's the website. If you go to Skyloom.com and then go to Marketplace and Signature Templates, that comes up, and if you scroll down, you will find my template pack right here. It's called Memorable Moments by Jim Nix, of course, and you can either click Learn More or Add to Cart. It's $19, and it is 12 different templates, and so you can kind of go through, check them out. There's some uh, examples there on the website, but I'm going to give you some examples right here in Illuminar AI using these templates. And a point of clarification, these templates were obviously made by me around things that I typically shoot, which is primarily cityscapes and landscapes. In other words, these templates were not made for portraits. Now, they theoretically could work on a portrait photo, but if you've seen my videos and my demos before, you know I like to manipulate light and color primarily, and that's really not necessarily always applicable to a portrait photo. So keep in mind, these were really built around and have been used in my uh, experience with uh, cityscapes and landscapes. Let's get into it. So um, number one, when you purchase that pack, you can download it to your desktop and then you can just go to uh, Luminar and actually under file, add Luminar AI template collection and it'll drop it in and it drops it into your purchased Luminar uh, template pack section. Let me show you that. So I've got a photo here. I'm going to click on templates and it comes up for this photo and it's if you remember, one of the adjustments in the recent update is that template packs um, in this for this photo section, which are the suggested templates for these photos, they're actually now also using your purchase templates and not just the ones that are built in. So you may find it there, but at the very least, you'll find it here under purchased. You can click on memorable moments, and here they are. There are 12. Now it says 10 right here. I caught that error. It's actually 12. I believe it'll say 12 when you purchase it, but regardless, the number is 12 whether it says 10 or not. You can see there's different things here inspired by my travels and again, edited primarily or editing for cityscapes and landscapes. So if I go through and click on a few of these, you can see that there's a bit of manipulation to the light and the color. And that looks really good. Um, I like that quite a bit. Um, keep in mind that the slider down below allows you to reduce the intensity of that template on your photo. So if you like it, but it's a little too much because, hey, Jim likes his colors a bit. Sometimes I go kind of heavy handed with that. You can adjust it that way. And of course, keep in mind, you can always go over here to the edit tab. You can see what templates or excuse me, what filters or tools are in this template. And you can come in and say, well, I like it, but I need a little bit more accent AI because this one's kind of dark. And maybe I need a little bit more color or excuse me, less color, maybe a little bit less vibrance. And maybe in HSL, I want to take down the saturation of the orange a little bit because it's a little much. Anyway, you get the point. If you've used Luminar AI before, you already know all about these adjustments. And if you don't, be sure and subscribe to my channel because I make videos every week about Luminar AI and how to make these adjustments. So that's a quick demo. And by the way, don't forget that you can also come in here and hit save after you made these adjustments and you can update and adjust these templates to your own taste if you would like to. Let me go back to the catalog section. I'm gonna go back here to this photo and click on that and click on templates. And again, I'm back in this primary section. I wanted to show you a couple of these like monochrome templates. There are 12 templates and that, and that, got, that looks good. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm biased clearly because it's my photo that I took and my template that I made, but that looks really cool. I like dramatic black and white. So there are 12 templates. Two of them are monochrome, this monocular and then also this one, tranquility. But you can see in both cases, it really brought that sky back I especially like this monocular on this one, but if you look at the before and after, that's before, this guy's a little bit blown out, but it's really come back, and that dramatic black and white, I think looks pretty cool. Um, obviously, there's a number of other options here. There's Vehemence, Vivify, Wayfaring. There's a number of different options and things you can do with your photos. Let's try a sunset shot, because a lot of these do a bit of color manipulation, of course, as I've said before, which I like to do. And so you can get some really nice, intense colors out of these templates with simply one click. So I think that looks pretty nice. Again, fairly heavy handed on the color, quick and easy to adjust. But what I wanted to do mostly is just walk through and I'm just going to click on these and kind of show you some of the different looks and how they appear on your images. There's Requiescence, Sang Foie, 
Tranquility, another monochrome. I like that one a lot. It's via Mints is a bit warmer. Vivify is nice. And of course, Wayfaring. So you can see lots of different options there. Let me show you a couple of different photos just to give you a further taste of it. This is a long exposure and I'll just click through and give you a, a look about how this is working on this long exposure. Also a sunset, lots of color there. And so this is what I typically do with templates. I'll go in and I'll just kind of click through and I'll find what works. That one looks pretty nice. Uh, this one's nice and warm. And again, keep in mind, you can customize these by going into edit next and making adjustments. You can also customize by reducing the intensity or the opacity on that down below. And that's something I like to point out about templates. I really use them. Now that looks nice. I, I like that one quite a bit. I really use templates as a starting point. They can, depending on the photo, they can be a one click edit for your photos. But if you've seen my videos, you really know I like to play around with the, full, uh, the filters and the tools and really customize the look of my image to my liking, which is really what photo editing is about, in my opinion. But in doing so, um, even when I use templates, I tend to come in and tweak things a little bit. So you might come in here and say, oh, I really like that, but I want to edit a little bit further. So, you know, again, I'm just kind of hacking here. I don't have a plan for any particular uh, photo here or template, but you might come and get XAI and say, I want to drag a little bit more of that in because I want a little bit brighter foreground. And don't forget, of course, you can go in and use local masking and drop a gradient mask to adjust the foreground instead if you'd like. Lots of options. That's the power and the fun of Luminar AI. And also these city scenes. Here's another long exposure, which I just love to shoot uh, in cities, especially if you get like passing cars. But these kind of things, you know, lots of big, bold color moves. And that's something else I like to point out about templates at least my templates, and that is in the past when I've made presets or looks or templates, whatever you would like to call them, they are never just tiny minor tweaks here or there. When I make adjustments like that with a template, I wanna make a big move. That's kinda of how I approach it. So these templates kinda of follow my theme of this is not a minor tweak to this or that. It's generally kind of a big bold move because you have the flexibility to come in and reduce the opacity if it's too much or jump into edit and reduce the intensity of individual filters if you would like to pull back some of that. So some of these colors might look over the top for you, but keep in mind, it's a quick couple of seconds of adjustments to just go in and further refine that to your taste. Last couple, and I'm just clicking through to kind of give you an idea, but the point, and I think this monocular looked pretty good there, and so did this tranquility. I think that looks pretty awesome. Something about blurring lights in black and white looks really good. And as much as I love my colors, I like the black and whites quite a bit as well. So again, I've included two monochrome and 10 full color templates in this pack. Memorable moments. It's 12 templates, $19 for sale right now on the Luminar or in the Luminar AI marketplace as a signature template. So just go to skyloom.com, pick it up if you're interested. And if you're not, thanks for watching anyway. I appreciate it. I'll be back soon with more stuff. Just wanted to kind of get a little bit of an advertisement out there to announce this pack. I'll be back to the regular tutorial videos really soon. Thanks for coming by, my friends. Thanks for any interest you might express in this pack. Every little bit is great support for me, and you know that I'll be here providing free tutorials every week. So thanks for watching, tuning in, and checking out the template pack. And if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you real soon. Take care of yourselves, and adios.